Early summer is a great time to move out to offshore structure because after the fish are done spawning, those are the first places they move out to to take advantage of the high protein forage base that lives out in that open water. And what I'm doing here is I'm scanning this underwater bar looking for fish. But one of the things on a day like today, it's flat calm and it doesn't take much to spook fish off a spot like this. And I'm gonna show you a real effective way to catch those fish without spooking them. Now, what I'm doing here with the mapping is this tip goes out, I'm going back and forth. I'm following, you can see the boat here. Now, that fish happened to go away. I can't see it anymore. I wanna waypoint that fish. So I'm gonna go back to track back right here and I'm gonna scan back. I'm gonna put my cursor on that fish and I'm gonna save that as a waypoint. Clear the cursor, I'm back to real time. It's a great feature for covering water. Now I don't have to go back and look for where that fish is. I've got them marked with a waypoint on the mapping side of the unit. So I know there's fish off the edge. I don't wanna go over them and spook them. So what I'm gonna do, and I use my deep shallow water anchor, pin down and start fan casting the area. There we go, we're pinned down. Time to fish. One of my favorite methods for covering water quickly and effectively is with a jig and wrap. Cast it out, let it fall to the bottom and snap it back to the boat. The other thing I like to do is fish it on a braid. I'll fish it with a fluorocarbon leader, but the braid gives me the ultimate in sensitivity. And I also fish it with a colored line so I can watch the line where it goes into the water. And when it falls, it stops at the bottom, snap it off the bottom, watching that line hits the bottom. With the braid, the sensitive is so good, you, there's no question about it's hit the bottom. This happens to be a six foot, eight inch rod. It just gives me the ability to make longer casts. But the other thing is the fact with the longer rod, I'm quicker on the hook set, go. I got more leverage on the fish and I can manage the line a little bit more effectively with a longer rod than a shorter rod. Walleye fishermen have a tendency to fish smaller reels, and in a situation like this, I wanna have as much line pickup as I can on a turn of the handle, because a lot of times that fish may hit, it may be coming at you, I gotta get up on the fish to get a good hook set into them, so I need that line pickup or that retrieve speed to be effective with it. One thing when you use your shallow water anchor to pin down, especially on an open piece of structure like this, is you got to consider the wind. Today the wind's kind of light and variable, so I kind of picked a, a spot right access to deep water goes from 12 down to 25 foot. But if the wind's blowing, typically you want to back up so you're positioned upwind of the spot that you're going to cast to. I typically like to pin down shallower and then cast out to deep as those fish move in. So take that into consideration when you decide where to place your shallow water anchor on the structure that you're fishing. The other thing when it's flat calm like this is typically I wanna work all the way around the boat, 360 degrees. Just allows you to cover water effectively and also in flat calm days like this, a lot of times the fish are out cruising around this is a real effective way to cover that much water, that shallow water, without spooking any fish and staying still. There he is. Nice walleye. There we go. Pinning down with your shallow water anchor, calm days, being as stealthy as you can, work around the boat, adds up to catching walleyes.